Hello, this is Terrell Pauly with LearnHealthCareIT.com. And today what I'd like to talk about is the salaries for different, for some of the different types of information technology jobs out there. I'm gonna go over 10 actually. And so what I actually, I just did a video that was in regards to this, uh, I, where I discussed the, where I went over 10 types of information technology jobs. So this is gonna actually be a follow-up to that video that I did, whereas I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take you through, uh, I'm gonna go to the actual website where I talked about in the prior, in the previous video. And uh, I'm gonna go over just uh, real briefly the salary for these different jobs. So kind of bear with me. And actually, I I'm gonna apologize up front if there's static when I'm moving uh, static in the communication when I'm actually talking uh, because um, uh, my my actual internal microphone mic on my laptop kind of sucks. So that's that. So I'm actually trying to get something a little different, but that's an external microphone. But anyway, let's move on. So if you just type in, if you go to Google, type in best technology jobs All right and then here first thing you come up the 10 best tech jobs in America for 2018 Is this the right one? Let me see here. No. Here we go. So it's not this one, the one my list came from. It's actually this one here. Money.usnews.com. So let's go here. Okay, so here's the list here. And again, you can actually go to this website. I'll add the link for, for this in the description of this video. So let's go through the list here real quick. So a software developer is what they're saying that they, they make, uh, their median sat salary is a hundred grand, which, uh, that's very good information security analyst, almost a hundred grand, 90, 90, 92,000. And so that, so that makes sense for a, and actually, and they kind of rank, rank these, I guess, from, from one to 10, this list here with number one being a software developer. And actually, if you actually click on the details for each one, for each job, they'll give you details on what a software developer is, it gives you a good description, gives you a uh, unemployment rate, number of jobs, the ranking. Let's see, software developers rank number one in best technology jobs. Jobs are ranked according to their ability to offer an, an elusive mix of factors. Read more about how we rank best jobs. So you can find out how they get their rankings and how software developer was ranked number one. On the scorecard, they got scorecards here, 8.3. So future growth, it's 10, Mark, uh, job market is 10, stress level is, is a six. So you can get more details about each one of these 10, these 10 job descriptions. And it gives you more details about what types of information, uh, what types of education do, uh, do software developers need? Job satisfaction as such. So it's a lot of details here. And uh, so, but a, uh, but yeah, software developer, I can understand and why they would make the, the median is a hundred grand and also for information security analysts because they both do important work, right? Software developer is designing and building applications that we all use, uh, whether it's, 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 it's uh, 
you know, whether it's mobile with iOS or Android or whether it's applications on your laptops or, you know, where, where, wherever. And information security analysts are very important because they are the ones that actually are keep safeguarding and keeping our data safe and secured. IT manager. So this is the one I actually left out of my prior video of, of my 10 types of information technology jobs. But I, so IT manager makes 135 grand. Wow. So median. And this will be the case because, you know, IT manager, they have to oversee all the, the different other IT professionals that are un, that are under them, that are under them, whether if it's a security analyst or if it's a uh, software developer or whoever, the manager has to oversee the entire show, oversee their staff. And also they have to manage, they have to, uh, um, you know, perform their other managerial duties. So 135 grand. My goodness. Okay, so systems analyst. So systems analyst makes 87 grand. It's kind of so kind of uh, close in comparison to what the uh, security analysts and developers do. It's close. Network architect. Network architects, you have to be very uh, skilled and talented, I imagine, to be a network architect. And you have to be very experienced. So, 101 grand for a network architect. Systems administrator, systems admin, 80 grand. Medium, that's not bad at all. Database administrator, 84 grand, almost 85 grand. Web developer, uh, they make a little lower, 66 grand. And a computer support specialist is kind of it's the lowest on the list with 52 grand. So and, and and if you watch my other video where I talked about where I kind of went into detail over these uh these the nine on this list, I talked about how computer support specialist is kind of like the, more of the entry level tier for a uh in the in the in the IT field. So and then as you Gain more experience depending on the size of the company. They may have different levels to where you can you can uh, be a support specialist level one, level two, level three, and higher the levels, the more experience, the more information that you have on the on your actual job. So, and last but not least, computer programmer makes eighty grand a year. It's not bad, not bad at all. So those are the different salaries that uh, for 10 uh, different types of IT jobs in addition. And so, so you can actually come and take a look at this site again for to get more details. If you're curious about, if you're trying to get into IT, you wanna know about different types of uh, salaries, like what what's the potential, this is where you can come. And actually, let's go to in my prior previous video, I mentioned uh, PAX administrator. So let's go to PAX administrator salary. So what they don't have on that list, right, is PAX, the salary for a PAX administrator, because that is a field that's within healthcare information technology. So let's see here, PAX administrator, You'll see the average PAX administrator salary in the United States is $83,000. 83 grand as of September, 2018. So 83 grand. Let me just tell you that uh, based on my experience, so I have been a, I've been a, you can say I, I've been a systems administrator. I've been kind of I've been a systems analyst, and I've been a computer support specialist, and I've also been a PAX administrator. Kind of like a lot of those, majority of those were kind of rolled into one because I was working for a smaller IT, uh, a, a smaller facility 
I had a small one and two two man IT shop. So to wear, you know, in these cases, you're gonna have multiple hats. You're gonna wear multiple, multiple hats, and you're gonna have your multiple roles that are kind of all um that are kind of all you know bundled into one. So, but um not a lot of IT people, you know, really know about healthcare IT per se or PACS administration. But if you want to learn more about PACS administration and healthcare IT in general, you can actually head on over to my site to where I have all types of resources and videos to where I talk about healthcare IT and everything like that. So, but to kind of wrap things up here, that's where you can go to get kind of review the salary for different types of healthcare IT jobs. Again, um, you can take a look at that site. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you like this video, if you, if you found that it was helpful for you, you know, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the, uh, in the comment section below. You know, you know, leave, if you have any questions, leave those there too as well. And I think that that's pretty much everything. So my name is Terrell Pauly. And until next time, take care.